guys and welcome to this week's reading vlog. So it is about 11 o'clock at night on Monday evening and I wanted to update you guys with what's in here. <laughs> I wanted to uh, start the reading vlog off tonight because I haven't done any reading today but I'm going to be doing a little bit right now. But I wanted to go over a few fun things that I thought you guys might like to know about that I really enjoyed. So I do like board games. We are trying to get more into board games. So if you have any recommendations for two player board games, let us know because that's usually when we do like like to play with friends, but that is like when we usually wanna play, it's um not when we're hanging out with a bunch of friends or doing something. So I wanted to go over these board games with you. So the first one that we picked up and really enjoyed, this one is called Tokaido. And this one is a Japanese vacation that is, they're both strategy games, but it's got beautiful artwork and I highly recommend um, if you like strategy games, like that with a Japanese theme, uh, I highly recommend that. So like this is what that artwork looks like. And we just played that tonight and we really, really enjoyed that one. And my other one that I picked up is called, oh gosh, I'm gonna smush the kitten here. Is called Ex Libres. And this is all about basically being a library and making your own library and it's really cute so this one is also a strategy game but you have to create your own bookshelves you've got to collect rare books you get points for diversity and alphabetizing and shelf stability both of them are a lot of fun and I highly recommend them so let me know if you guys like seeing these things. I'll, I would keep you updated at my Barnes & Noble. I am in charge of my toys and games section. So I am always looking into other games so I know how to better service my, my customers over on that side of the store. So yeah, that's just a little snippet besides books into my life with that. But back to books and reading. I am reading again, but better. I actually have two copies. I've got this copy and then I've got the Barnes Noble edition. So this copy is just the regular edition with the watermelon and the Barnes Noble edition is gold with a toast, piece of toast, I think. So I am reading again, but better. I am on page 25 and I need to finish this by Thursday for the Barnes Noble book club. So. I've got some serious reading to do and I plan on just doing that on my days off. I'm off in a few days. So that is my update for Monday and I'm going to go and read a little bit and you guys will probably get an update from me tomorrow. I'm cruising. Yeah. I'm 297. Nice. How many pages are in your book? 540. Nice. I haven't got that much yet. Booyah, motherfucker. <laughs> so he is listening to Into the Drowning Deep. It is the next day, by the I'm way. Not listening to it. You're not listening to it. Why did I say listening to it? Because you're used to me doing audiobooks. That's true. Hmm. It's. <laughs> it is the. Damn it. <laughs> Take three! It is the next day now, and we wanted to update you. We've had a reading morning, and we've just stayed in comfy clothes. Um, it's been great. So, as you just saw, he is reading Into the Drowning Deep. He's Almost. probably two-thirds the way done. Yeah. Well, actually three-quarters, because it's 400-something pages. I'm on page 297, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you liking that one? It's awesome. Do you think it's gonna be a five out of five stars? Yeah. Yeah? Doesn't touch Brandon Sanderson though. No. <laughs> so who would you recommend this book to? Anybody who loves the ocean. Um, I love all the marine bio, science -y talk, the lingo. Jargon? Yeah, jargon, that's your word for it. There are sad parts, but I'm not particularly. I don't wanna give spoilers. We stuffed mid-sentence, not particularly what. Fond of. Okay. 
but overall the book is really really good it got super good super quick it started out kind of slow but it was just kind of like building the whole premise for the book and then once shit started going down it's been going down just spiraled yep okay spiraling upward this time not downward do you want to talk about what you just finished i made breakfast for us this morning and i decided reading a comic book while eating breakfast was more productive than getting greasy paw prints all over my <laughs> book i decided to read dead secret agent deadpool I really enjoyed this one. Super funny, and I really liked the twist at the end. It made me miss reading Deadpool comics because it's been a while since I've read one. I gave it five out of five stars because it's Deadpool. It's and Deadpool. This one cracks me up. The very first line, I was busting out laughing, and it's not even on like the actual first page. It's just like one of those cover pages. This gun may have a silencer, but I sure don't. Yes. Classic Deadpool. So. Five out of five stars. How far are you for your um, reading challenge this year? Uh, I think I'm well past 50. I don't even know, know where I'm at. I can check. I am at 58 out of 100. And you are at 28 out of 50. I've got 30 books on you. You also listen to audiobooks way more than I'm able to. That's true. I have. So I am still reading again, but better. I just hit 98 pages. And so far... My thoughts on this book are, I understand some of the critiques. She does seem a little bit juvenile, but she also seems like a sheltered nerd. So I get it. Like, I kind of like that this is catered to a very specific sort of person. And that for those people, being them being able to read this, they're going to be able to connect onto it to, onto another level. And I think that's really great that she wrote it to those people that always feel like the awkward outsiders who are constantly missing out and who feel like they should be more developed than they are. And I, I appreciate where this is coming from. And I think a lot of people just see it as her being juvenile. And I can understand why, because she is in the 20s and she's talking about never holding a boy's hand and things like that. But there are people who have done that, and that's their life. And so I think that that being represented is a good thing. I will say that you can definitely tell that she wrote it because it is, um, she talks at kind of a high speed, and that it's kind of written like that in very choppy sentences. It's not very well written out dialogue, but it matches her personality in this and matches the nervous geekiness that is the character in here. So I'm not bothered by it. I'm I'm not loving it, it, but I'm not hating it. Like I'm enjoying my time through it, but I don't think it's gonna be a favorite of mine. Um, it feels very reminiscent of Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, which is also kind of geared towards a younger audience, but in that one she is 18 as well. So it, it feels very similar, um, plus all of the traveling and there is another aspect in this without spoilers that feels very reminiscent of it. Um, but overall, I'm liking it. I like that we get to see her journal entries because it is written in first person that with her having journal entries, it shows other perspectives better versus just coming from her uh, point of view. Uh, overall, I think that she made smart moves with this, but it definitely feels like certain person's cup of tea versus this is a universally good book. So I'm excited to discuss with people and how their own experiences will affect the rating of this book. Because if they didn't grow up like this, if they they had a lot of relationships in high school, if they were experienced in high school, they, they were not going to be able to relate to this character. But to the nerds who felt left out in high school, didn't fit in, like felt like they were constantly been put into situations they weren't ready for, especially with people with social anxiety, high I totally can understand, even if I didn't grow up in high school, this out of the loop, because I did have relationships in high school, I can still appreciate where she's coming from with this. So I can see why people don't like it, but that's why I'm enjoying it so far. So I am 100 pages out, or, or I'm 100 pages in with this book, and it's 373, so I've got... Uh, probably a full day of reading tomorrow to finish it by Thursday but I am actually looking forward to it and I think it is just, it's just it's so easy to fly through so yeah, you, say you read like 75 pages today yeah so 
that is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I am going to work tonight. Um, I probably won't be able to read much of this today. I'll probably be focusing on my escaping from Houdini. Not escaping from Houdini. My um, Hunting Prince Dracula you audiobook. Books. That's because I um, see my escaping from Houdini staring at me up there. So Hunting Prince Dracula is uh, expiring in six hours. So renew it. There's no one waiting in line. I thought there was. No? It would say one person waiting. There was one person waiting. Dan. Looks like you got... Oh, wait, that's... You're not even going to be, like, closed by the time it expires, so... You... Gosh, dang it! <laughs> Damn. What are you going to read instead, then? Or listen to? So, I... Probably won't be able to finish Hunting for Dracula because I have five hours left and it's due in six hours But I have to be at work before six hours, so I Probably won't be able to do that um, there is Another book that I've been wanting to pick up that was on audiobook um, That's you are never weird on the internet by Felicia Day. I think um, Trisha loves this audiobook. She raves about it and she had just recently uh, re-listened to it and it made me like go looking for it in the library so I think that will, might be my next one that I pick up. I've also been craving a thriller too but I think I want to pick up You'll, You're Never Weird on the Internet because she loves that one so no. I am not reading that. Why? It's not scary. It's a thriller. Anyway that is our update. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and let you know what I decided on what I'm going to listen to tonight. So that's our update and we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys and welcome to another day in the reading vlog. It is now Wednesday and I have one day to finish again but better. So I am having a reading day today. I am currently on 98. I didn't read any more from the last time I updated you. So I am going to be reading the rest of that today. And I did listen to a bit of You Are Never Weird on the Internet almost. Uh, by Felicia Day, and I am on chapter 5. I've already listened to roughly 3 hours, 2.40. Um, so I've got about 4 hours left of this one. And I am thoroughly enjoying it. I don't know really much about her, but Trisha from Tell Her a Story has raved about this one for a long time now, so I thought I'd finally pick it up. And... I actually just started watching Geek and Sundry, which is the YouTube channel that she owns, um, literally like last week. So that was like happenstance that I wanted to listen to this book and I just got into her YouTube channel because um, there's a lot of people on there. So I, she's very, very funny lady and I like that she's so nerdy and right now it's going through her life and going through like her growing up and how she grew up in acting and stuff for someone I don't really know who she is for me not I'm not like super invested in her because I don't know who really who she is so I don't really care about her life but she the way that she delivers it the way that the audiobook is the way that like her little quips are hilarious and I was like finding myself like enjoying it and laughing along because of how she delivers it and like the jokes that she makes with it keeping me entertained even though I'm not invested in her life so I am really enjoying that lately and I just really like when people narrate their own memoirs or biographies like this and so if you have any recommendations let me know down below um, so I have been listening to that but today is going to be strictly focused on again but better so I am going to sit down and read this and I even have some very cuddly kittens here don't mind my mess of books everywhere because that's my life in this room here <laughs> so that's what I'm doing and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit okay update what is happening <laughs> so I am now to this page which if you read it you know what's going on also, I'm glad that I have two copies of this book because I was like, is this a misprint? I mean, it makes sense for this to be here, but is this a misprint? It's not. It's supposed to be here. So, this book is taking turns that I wasn't expecting. Not really, like, I would say, 
like twists but things are not progressing like I thought they were going to progress so I guess that's something um we got to the end of a certain segment which I thought was going to be the whole book and I was like this is wrapping up too quickly and I still have like I, I'm only like 180 pages in and I was real confused so now I'm at like 209 and we've jumped seven years or six years into the future and now we're doing this so interesting interesting thoughts I have some things that I'm like sensitive to and this book like people being in relationships with other people and then being interested in other people when you're in relationships where there's like sort of the cheating thing so I wasn't particularly fond of that but that is my thoughts so far on it I think it's interesting that Shane is made to be a likable character when she shouldn't be in that situation so that's another thought that I had but otherwise I'm going to keep reading and see where this weird road takes me hey guys and welcome to another day in the reading vlog it is Friday all day. Friday? Yeah. Uh, I didn't update you last night because I totally forgot. Yeah, I after... got mad about it. Yeah, I forgot and I got mad that I forgot to update you. <laughs> but I did finish Again But Better for the book club that was on, Friday, on Thursday. And I overall enjoyed it. I can understand why a lot of people didn't like it. I think it wasn't the most unique story, but I do like that the twist that she did put on it not that they weren't, ex they're expected twists, but they're different mashups, I guess, is a better way to say it, of these tropes that I was expecting, so I liked that. I also really liked that you can tell a reader wrote this because she pokes fun at things like Twilight and she mentions Cassie Clare and um, reading Shadow Kiss, and I really, really liked those aspects of it as well. Uh, usually if things talk about items that will date the book I am not a fan because it's harder to transcend uh, th these these next couple of years but overall I think it was really nice I liked that we got to see the development between Shane in 2011 and Shane in 2016 and so I liked that we got to see her grow with that um, I am really excited to talk to you guys about this on June 29th for our Muggle Studies Book Club with Gabby and it's going to be on my channel at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I ended up getting this one like a 3.75 out of 5 stars for Again But Better. So overall it was a fun time and I was expecting to hate it more than I did. So that is my update for this one and for my audiobooks we finished Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince, of course. After like six months. Yeah, of course, Five Out of Five Stars. That's my favorite book. So we have completed that one. And I only have about two hours left of You Are Never Weird on the Internet, almost, by Felicia Day. Um, I'll pop a picture up here. Um, I'm really enjoying that one. She's just funny and personable. I don't really know her in the things that she is, but she is in Buffy. Uh, she is in like the YouTube show that she created so she's talking about that right now and overall like just as a creative person I like listening to other creative people show the process so overall I'm quite enjoying that book as well and that is the only two things that I am reading um or the only one thing that I'm reading I guess now and then I'm still reading Red White and Royal Blue so I definitely want to finish that one soon because I am absolutely loving that one and that is it for this update so I will see you guys probably tomorrow hey guys I am doing a quick update from yesterday I have been reading a little bit this morning so I was reading Red White and Royal Blue because this one I have left I also only have an hour and a half left of my you're never weird on the internet so I'm almost done with that one and I am on page 326 I'm on chapter 20 or 13 and I am really really enjoying this and shit just hit the fan right now and I, all I want to do is stay home and read so I'm really really enjoying this and I almost have this finished so I'm definitely bringing this with me to work and I think that tomorrow may just be I have tomorrow off so I think tomorrow may just be a reading day for me because I just like want to sit and inhale all of this and I can't believe I'd, I've drawn this book out so long because I love it so much. So super quick clip 
of today and tomorrow you will see more of me because all I have to do is read tomorrow which is great so this is my update and I will see you guys tomorrow hey guys it is Sunday and I have just recently finished my audiobook you are never weird on the internet hopefully you can see that there and I just finished it and it is so good I really recommend this to people who like listening to memoirs especially people who have uh done their own memoirs so she actually reads her own memoir which i really appreciate it just feels more genuine that way i also really recommend this to creative people who have like a struggle of having that creative block in their head that they need to push past and she talks about being a creative person and being a creative person in hollywood and working through all of those things and also being a gamer girl and being accepted and learning to accept yourself and being weird on the internet and not being cowed into hiding their geeky tendencies overall it was a really enjoyable time and i laughed a lot i didn't know much about felicia day so i ended up only giving it a four out of five stars because i am not that invested and i think a lot of your enjoyment on biographies is how much you already enjoy the person but for me not knowing anything about her and going into it I thoroughly enjoyed myself I think overall it has a really good message and uh, she has an interesting life so if you are looking if you like those types of books I recommend checking out that one and then also my all-time favorite which is Lauren Graham's um, talking as fast as I can because I have a huge soft spot for Gilmore Girls. Also Eliza Schlesinger's um, book as well. I really really enjoyed that one too. So those are a few recommendations if you are into those things. Um, I am currently finishing up Red, White, and Royal Blue. I am on page 340. So I have just a little bit left and I am just having a good Sunday reading day. So I'm going to get back to reading this one and I will check back with you guys when I finish it. It is now many hours later and I have finished Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston and I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. It is so damn cute. If you are looking for a nice, happy, sort of fluffy book that is a male male romance with a lot of different representation with a little bit of political intrigue and pushing for equality in these books I, I really recommend picking this up it is very very cute I like giggled through so much of this and now I really want to pick up Christina Lauren's books because I've heard that this book is very similar to her books in the same tone so I want to pick up those because I just they're fun fluffy reads and they make me happy so I really really enjoyed this one and that is going to close out this week's reading vlog stay tuned for next week's hopefully this one will be up on Monday I'm going to try to add this tomorrow and be able to upload it so stay tuned for that let me know what else you would like to see from me in these reading vlogs and until next time I will see you next time <laughs> thank you guys for watching bye